Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. By the grace of God, we'll be looking at a topic the voice of the majesty. The voice of the majesty on that series, What is Great Exploit? Host Muhammad Sablu Bakim. Text taken the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 12 down to 16. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, for the bread in our nostrils, come say thank you. For the good health we enjoy, we say thank you. For the security we went to bed last night, we wake up this morning because you watch over us. We're not taking this opportunity for granted to come this morning, like that leper in Luke chapter 17, to say, Father, thank you for the bread in our nostrils one more time. Thank you for your mercy, for your grace that we've enjoyed. We say receive all our praise in Jesus' name. We'll come this morning to hear your word. The word said in Isaiah 9 8, you send the word unto Jacob and lighted the entire Israel. Send the word into my heart, thou light into my world. We said in Psalm 119, verse 105, Thy word is a light to our feet and a lamp to our part. The light of your word grant us understanding and ask us to do truth this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time The voice of the majesty. The voice of the majesty on that series. What is great exploit? Host my humble self, look at our text taken book of Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 12 down to 17. I read from verse 12. Then the spirit took me up. And I had behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. And verse 16 said, And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. That's the word of the Lord to Ezekiel. May the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding. In Jesus' name, for the reading, Deuteronomy chapter 28, from verse 1 to 10, Send it shall come to pass, and thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments, which I commanded this day. And the Lord will set you on high, talking about exploit above all nations of the earth. Said in verse 3, Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. And in verse 10, said, And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Ezekiel chapter 15 from verse 26 said and said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment and keep his status, said, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which are brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he led thee. Revelation chapter 21 from verse 3 to 5, our last for us reading said, And I heard, and I heard a great voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And will dwell with them. I pray God's tabernacle will dwell with you to dwell with your family in Jesus' name. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from the eyes. And there shall be no more death. And there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor cry. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. And in verse 5 said, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for this word are true and faithful. And the Lord bless his word and grant us understanding in Jesus' name. Topic one more time. The voice of the majesty on that series, What is Great Exploit? Host my humble self, Luke K. Our text taken the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 12 down to 17. With further reading, Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 10, Ezekiel. 1526, Revelation 21, 3 to 5. Please, at your free time, you can read all those Bible passages again, and I'm sure you're going to be blessed because God will speak to you through them. In Jesus' name, thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is the voice of God is a carrier of great exploit genes. Take that again, the voice of God is a carrier of great exploit genes. Think about this. Today, we'll look at the topic the voice of the majesty on the teaching series on what is great export. By way of introduction, let's understand that the voice of God is a carrier of divine revelations that empowers for great exploit in life. Meaning, if you want to see great exploit, then reach out to the voice of God. The entire Bible is loaded with the voice of God. No scripture is of any personal private interpretation, but all, but open to all. Any man who delights in God's word will naturally access the voice of the majesty. And until a man access the voice of God, his greatness will be. You who have asked.
impact in life, in ministry, in family, in business, in career, in health, will not be limited in Jesus' name. On this note, we shall explore about the voice of the majesty for a great exploit in the next 10 minutes. And I pray as you ride with me, go open your understanding to this truth. And you will make you and I to walk in this reality in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 3 from verse 11 to 13. said, and go, get it to them of the captivity of the children of their people and speak unto them. Tell them, thus says the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will not forbear. Verse 12 said, then the Spirit took me up. And I had behind me a voice of a great rushing, saying, Blessed be the glory, blessed be the glory of the Lord from his place. As it is said, I heard also the, voice, the noise of the wings of the living creature that touched one another, and the voice and the noise of the wheels over them, and the noise of a great rushing. And of course, Second Peter chapter 1 from verse 18 to 21 said, And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. Verse 19 said, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, where unto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in darkness unto the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. Verse 20 said, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Verse 21 said, For the prophecy came not in old times by the will of man, but only men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Revelation chapter 1, from verse 3 to 12. At a leisure time, you can read that. Of course, verse 10 said, I was in the Spirit on the last day, and I had behind me a great voice of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. At a leisure time, you can read all of those scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 3, 11 to 13. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, from verse 18 to 21. Revelation 1, 3 to 12. We've been trying to look at the subtopic, what is great exploit all about, which began yesterday. We saw the first point yesterday that great exploit is all about working in one. That's God working in one, God working with one, and God working for one. That's all we saw yesterday. So please, I want to reference you. I want to charge you to reference yesterday's teaching on this platform. I'm sure you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. So this is because Father, we're looking at one more point. What is great exploit all about? It's all about the voice of the majesty. It's all about what? the voice of the majesty this is god speaking peace speaking direction and his words of majesty to his beloved children for their enthronement and exploit i see god's coming to you for your enthronement and for your exploit in jesus name we saw earlier on uh in uh exodus chapter 3 from verse 1 down to 10 the word of the lord came uh to moses he was keeping the flocks of jethro in the bush and the word of the lord came before then there was a flame burning the angel appeared and the word of the Lord came to him saying, I uh, said, I've heard the affliction of my people. Look at what happened in verse 4. And when the Lord saw that Moses had turned to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And he said in verse 6, Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And of course, Moses hid his face, his face for he was afraid to look upon God. And in verse 7, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and I have heard their cry by reason of the tax master, for I know their sorrow. He said in verse 8, And I am come down to deliver them. And of course, he said in verse 10, Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And we saw he went and accomplished that mission. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 4 said, Ye shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandment, and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him, and cleave unto him. Because in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, 23 said, And the ears shall hear a word behind, saying, This is the way, walk in it. When ye turn to the right, and when ye turn to the left, verse 22 said, Ye shall defile also the covering of the graven image of silver, and the ornament of thy molten image of gold, thou shalt cast them away as a menstrual cloth. Thou shalt say unto you, Get it hence. And verse 23, the last verse, Then shall he give rain of thy seed. Then shall he give the rain of thy seed, that thou shalt show the ground with all and bread of increase of the earth. And he shall be fat and plenteous. In that day shall the cattle feed in large pasture. Oh, remember, via the voice of the Lord, I pray God's voice will come to you even today in Jesus' name. John chapter 5, 24, 26, a very, very, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me had everlasting life, and he shall come to 
and it shall come into condemnation, but this passed from death unto life. I see you coming out of death to life by God's word, God's voice in Jesus' name. In some of all I'm trying to see, we're looking at what is great exploit all about. We're looking at just one point. We said it's all about the voice of the majesty. And we said it is God speaking peace, speaking direction, and speaking his words of majesty, his beloved children, for their enthronement and exploit. And I pray God's voice will come to you for your enthronement and for your exploit indeed in Jesus' name. The leisure time you can read Exodus chapter 3, 1 to 10, Exodus Deuteronomy, rather, chapter 13, verse 4, Ezekiel chapter 3, uh, 12 to 17, Isaiah 30, 21, 23, John 5, 24 to 26. This also is a revelation of the plans, visions, and wisdom of the Lord, true and inner, an audible voice for reproof, for corrections, and for instructions to his chosen children. I take it again. So this also is a revelation of the plans, the visions, and the wisdom of the Lord, true and inner, and or an audible voice for reproof, for corrections, or for instructions to his children, for his, uh, to his chosen children, rather. And I pray you be among his children, children for his word to come to you in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 89, from verse 8 down to 10. The word of the Lord speaking through the psalmist. Of course, in Jeremiah also, chapter 42, from verse 6 uh, down to 6. Okay, let me read uh, Psalm first, 89, 8 to 10. It said, I will hear what God the God will speak. It said, For I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For he will speak peace unto his people. For he will speak what peace to his people and to his saints. I pray God will speak peace to you in Jesus' name. Jeremiah 42, from verse 6 to 12 said, Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God to whom we send thee, that he may be well with us. We will obey the voice of the Lord our God. And verse 7 said, And shall come to pass after 10 days. So the Lord came unto Jeremiah, said in verse 10, If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down. I will plant you and not plug you. For I have repented of evil that happened to you. Said in verse 12, and I will show mercies unto you. I see God building you up. I see you, God, lifting you up. I see God showing you mercies in Jesus' name. We've got John chapter 6, from John 16, 7 to 40. So nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is experience for you that I go, that the Holy Ghost will come and keep giving you word of instruction. Second Peter 1, 17 to 19 said, For he received from God the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Said in verse 18, And this voice which came down from heaven we heard when we were with him. That's Peter's testimony about Jesus when the word of the Lord came when he in the mountain. He said in verse 19, For we have a more sure word of prophecy, where I want you to do well, that you take it unto a light, I shall not in a dark place, unto the day dawn. And the days that arise in your heart, I pray God's word will locate you. God's voice will locate you as well in Jesus' name. Lastly, let's know that we are created to naturally hear and comprehend the voice of His Majesty for our greatness. I take that again. Lastly, let's know that we are created to naturally hear and comprehend the voice of His Majesty for our greatness. But sin came and made us deaf to God's voice. However, succor came through salvation in Christ Jesus, meaning if you really want direct access to the voice of God for your greatness, then accept and confess Jesus today for a new beginning. He said in 2 Kings chapter 18, verse 12, said, Because they obey not the voice of the Lord their God, but transgress his commandment, and all that Moses, the servant of the Lord, that commanded them, I will not hear them, nor do them good, of course, but I pray God will hear you, because you will hear his word and you will accept him this morning in Jesus' name. John 10, 5 to 11. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. But seven said, Then Jesus said unto them again, Very, very, I say unto you, I am the door of the ship. I am the door in verse 9. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. And in verse 10 said, The thief coming up for to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I have come that he may have life and have it. More abundantly, verse 11 said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for a sheep. So I'm calling you to accept the good shepherd this morning. And I pray your heart will be stubborn to receive, not to receive him in Jesus. In 2 Corinthians 4 4 to 6, said, In whom the God of this world have blinded their minds, of which they believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, which is the image of Christ, should shine unto them. But I pray the light of God's word will shine to you. 
your heart will not be blind in Jesus' name. Same Second Corinthians five seventeen. When man be in Christ, a new creature, all things are passed away, and behold, all things are now become new. You want to say yes to Jesus? You need a new life. You need a new air. You need a new heart, so you can hear from God, so you can receive His voice, and make due to your greatness. Bow your head, place your hand on your chest, and say, Jesus, I come to you this morning as a sinner, forgive me my sins. I know you come to this earth for my sake, you died for my freedom. Right now, I confess you to be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me all my sins, Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Grant me grace to make heaven at the end of my journey here on the earth. Grant me grace to please you the days of my life. Grant me a change of heart. Grant me a change of air so I can hear you. Grant me a change of heart so I can perceive you. Grant me on the son of your word each time I bend down to study your word. For in Jesus' name I pray. Thank you for receiving me. For in Jesus' name I pray. With the two prayers, first prayer, Father, in this new month, grant me express access to your voice, to your vision, to your wisdom. For my exploits in Jesus in Exodus chapter 3 verse 10. Come now, therefore, and I will send you unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. As the word of the Lord to Moses. I see God's will look at you as well. With this understanding, let's pray, Father, in this new month, grant me express access to your voice, express access to your vision, express access to your wisdom for my exploit in Jesus. Then this my petition, spawn here, me, O God. In this brand new month of August, grant me express access to your voice, vision. And wisdom for my exploit in Jesus name last prayer father grant the saints in Nigeria and Africa access to your voice and instructions for great exploit that will inspire many folks to Christ in Jesus in John chapter 4 verse 39 down to 4 to 4 41 and many of the Samaritans of that city believe on him for the saying of the woman which testified he told me all that ever I did and verse 41 and many more believe because of his word with this understanding let's pray father Grant the saints in Nigeria and in Africa access to your voice and instructions for great exploits that will inspire many folks to Christ in Jesus' name. Father, this is a petition this morning here was ago. Grant the saints in Nigeria and in Africa access to your voice and instructions for great exploits that will inspire many folks to Christ in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing us for it's done. For in Jesus' name we we'll pray. I pray that this day will be a day of God's mercy and God's favor for you and for your family in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow. Pray that this month will be a month of exploit as a world, as the Lord has said concerning you, concerning your family indeed, in Jesus' name. For everyone of this live broadcast, I really appreciate you. I love you. God bless you.